So you directed, but you also wrote the screenplay for The Odd Life of Timothy Green. Yes, I did. What was the inspiration for this? The inspiration came from Amit Zappa, who's one of the producers on the film. He came to me and he said, I've got this story. And he started to tell it to me and I said, stop, I get it, I'm in. We went to Disney and I said, I'm going to take this idea, adopt it, expand it, and and, but I want to make a film about what it means to be a parent, what it means to be a child in the 21st century. Uh, and they said, go, go do it. And it's one of the most, truly most exciting projects I've ever been a part of because it, it kept kind of telling us what it wanted to be. And sometimes you feel you're in control and other times you just feel like you're trying, kind of how you feel when you're a parent, that your kid, you think, oh, I, I understand my child, and then they go, oh, I didn't know you had that in you. And then, so it, the experience I've had being a parent has been mirrored by the experience I had making this film. So great. Now, you can't reveal too much, I know, but can you tell us a little bit about who is Timothy Green? Timothy Green is... Uh, Hmm. Wow, you got me there. Uh, that's a tough one. I, no one's hit me with that hard of a question. Um, who's Timothy Green? Timothy Green is the, uh, the, the, the child that they hoped, that they imagined they would have had if they could have had a child. So, but he isn't, he's, he's like every kid. And yet he's completely himself. You know, every kid I know has certain qualities that are, oh, it's a kid, it's a kid. But he's 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 hard for me to explain. But but I, I you'll 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 want to take him home. You'll want him to be the friend of your kids, and you'll wish that you could be a kid again and be like him.